Welcome back everyone to the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for August 2018 where it is raining and mobs don't like to burn up in the rain but then maybe was I far enough away from them that they all despawned or something? Well, for now, we will have to assume that is the case because I can't just quit due to that. And I was certainly way down far enough underground that I didn't have to worry about phantom spawning. So let me quickly get this up. Alright, and let us get this up well I think that is not a bad calculation then we shall throw this here that at least should help to discourage creepers I know skeleton and maybe zombies will have trouble getting at me but skeletons, of course, will just still blithely shoot over the fences. But we can't do too much about that. Okay, good. And we are going to run out of torches here. But I did say something about going and doing some logging today and this is a good time to do that so you keep track of this we're at minute number two so I just want to make sure I get keep track of time properly because with the rain here it might be difficult in order to keep track of the time uh, let's not go after that one because I certainly don't want to spend a long time trying to harvest all of that and let's see when I hit eight minutes into the video I am going to turn around and go back to home assuming that I am still logging at that time okay and good okay this is obviously where I logged before because I see some of those saplings that I planted before because apparently a couple of them weren't getting enough light or just lost the uh, random race I figured I could come back for to gather the saplings from those that I cut earlier and maybe get a couple apples or something like that In up here, yes, I know. Exciting watching me cut down trees. But I want to make sure I have plenty for my house. And good, because I will be spending a bit of time. Tr hopefully, I'll be spending a little bit of time in order to build that thing. While I wait for those eggs to mature. Actually, I didn't check on the inside of there and see whether or not in them but I think it takes more than one night in order for them to do so it takes several nights I believe and I don't think there's any well there are ways to make turtles mature faster once they've hatched but making them hatch faster I don't know of any way of doing that except staying up at night 
which is something that you have to do anyway for an MHC. All right, there you go. There we go there. There you go there. There you go there. There. My little tree farm here is going to have be quite productive. Let's see. Two apples, that's not bad. All right, we're at half time during the daytime if I am reckoning things properly. And one can't be too sure. Oh, another apple. Okay. Good. That is uh, three apples. So food is not a major problem. So the fact that I did leave a farm untended at the old place isn't going to be a major problem. Okay, good. I think I need to go back this way. I think it's time to head back at least so I could take a look at the turtles and check their status and pick up any leaves that decayed over here. Okay, good. Oops, well, maybe not that one. All right, now let us Head back. Good. Now, how are we going? We have three clutches of eggs. All three clutches of eggs are still there. Uh, that is uh, good. So nothing spawned inside of here and destroyed them, which is also a good thing. Now let's see if I get a foundation built for this for this house. And no, I do not have a shovel because my old shovel got destroyed. But maybe I can at least run my dimensions here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 9 by 13. So I can at least run those numbers between episodes and see what I can do with the 9 by 13 space. I would want to go inside by one so that the walls aren't touching the fence probably so let's say that would be 7 by 11 or 5 by 9 in the inside hmm. yeah hopefully it won't be raining tomorrow so that I could keep track of all the time better so therefore I said a 5 by 9 not going to give me the prettiest house in the world but maybe something uh, that won't be as bad as this place <laughs> I know I know I know I know I know it is no small It's a pretty low standards if you say not looking as bad as this place. Right. Okay, so here we are. Cooked salmon and I guess we could throw these saplings in there. Good. I suppose we'll have to do mining for the rest of it because I just don't want to be caught outside when I cannot see the sun. All right, I've got 50 oak. That should be plenty in there. And I got some birch in there, so I have to make birch highlights to oak. I usually prefer the darker one to be the highlights, but I suppose I can switch my usual style in this case. Oh yeah, this is where I Was we are running into that. Well then, well this is at twenty one. Okay, let's try it right here. Hopefully this will be. This is at twenty four, so therefore I'm low enough. 
so that I can yeah I know I hear that zombie I am low enough so that I should be able to there you go should be able to find some redstone and it is also high enough to avoid that ravine or cavern or whatever that is down there. I don't think there's anything I need in a deep cavern today, so therefore there is no need to tempt fate. I find enough ways to get killed that I don't need to go around inventing new ones. Uh, hey, how... That might be... Well, I was considering starting to dig down again, but now that I see this, I think I will change my mind on that matter. Perhaps I'll consider it after I have solid ground all around me. Good. And back to here. I think it's time to start digging down then. Let's see. And let's put one right here. Well, I am going to be running out of Ooh, whatever this is. We're running out of... Well, I've got torch... Oh, yes, my pickaxe is about to go down. Hmm. And I only haven't found all that much iron. That's lapis, not redstone. Uh, I'll throw that down there. Good. I suppose it's time to get another pickaxe. And that means that I will, s I guess I could check out and see how the neighbors are doing. It's always nice to keep track of them, right? And down here we've got... That looks like a witch. Okay, well, zombies I can deal with. Skeletons are scary. Creepers are a pain. That's more skeletons that just popped in. So the biggest pain is going to be the witches. Because I don't think witches burn up. Right? They're not undead, so therefore... They don't mind sticking around during the daytime. The only thing that keeps them from being really super dangerous is that they tend to be rare. Just have to hope that she despawns at some point. There you go. There you go. Another pickaxe. We've got six minutes, let's say five minutes, because I have a feeling I went slightly over last time. I think if I do it at five minutes, things will be... Ah, here it is. So what I should do is mark this with a double torches to say this is the turn-off point. Oh, well, yes, I'll need a few more torches. And leave that there. Good. So that is plenty of light. That should keep us going for a little while. And we can get some lapis. Not that... 
Lapis is going to help us all that much. Well, it could give us some... Um, some dye, I suppose. That would be one use for it. But I strongly doubt I'm going to do much in the way of enchanting during this MHC. So I won't have to worry about that. It looks like I'm about to hit another gravelly area. How am I? Ooh, diamond level. Well, technical diamond level. I think a couple more levels down we get to places where you're more likely to run into them. And then good. And you have to be careful with diamonds because sometimes they can be so tempting that you do something stupid and get yourself killed. There we go. And we are at 13, so we go at 12. I think that would be... Well, iron! Yes. And uh, you could stay lit, please. Thank you. And I've got, okay, I will have to turn upstairs and do some inventory management. I can do that while the iron cooks. And that way I can finish the episode with a little bit of inventory management. And not have to worry about doing that at the beginning of the next episode. Oh boy. Ooh, this place has plenty of iron. All right. After that dearth of it that we had for a while, it's nice to be able to get some. This is, I I just ever feel like you're being lured by breadcrumbs or something like that. This is like. Yeah, come further, come further, come further. This way to the lava trap. <laughs> ah, that's what it's doing. Yeah, preparing a lava trap. I'll just have to be careful then. And that's something that happened in last month's base race where I ran into pretty much lava trap. But that, of course, was compounded by some baby zombies that were in the area. So I don't think I would have run into the trap if it weren't for them making me jump. Alright, there you go. And, oh yeah. Good. And I think that's also getting close to the end of the episode. So let us go upstairs. Check that out. And while I do this, it is now, it is day so Five right now. Okay, still, still says day five. We're in episode six, so therefore we should be all right. Said. Now it looked like last time I looked in here that the yeah okay the sun is starting to come up. The stuff isn't burning yet. It is no longer raining. The moon is setting. The sun is rising. My chest is full, and let's see, we've got, let's see, how much iron, 24, fine, just plop it in there, and be done with that. Let's get ourselves a second chest, because the first chest is pretty much in the full end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Throw some sand here, which we'll decide later on whether we're going to do anything with it. And that is it there. Let's get the birch out just in case I need that for anything. And it is now day six, so that is the end of the episode. And we will return next time where we are going to start building my real house and go back to the turtles.